Whole Foods Market once earned itself a joking but arguably accurate nickname, Whole Paycheck. Although its reputation for high prices started to change when Amazon took over, that still doesn't mean everything is a good deal. Here are the top things you shouldn't buy at Whole Foods. It can be tempting to end your Whole Foods trip with a quick stop at the salad bar or hot bar. The vast selection of fresh fruits, veggies, and hot entrees make for an easy on-the-go lunch or take-home dinner. But these buffets can also harbor illness-causing bacteria such as E. coli, salmonella, and listeria. One of the worst offenders is pre-cut fruit. According to a Baby Center article by dietitian and nutritionist Naris Lipsis, listeria thrives on the skin of cantaloupes. Serving yourself a ready-made meal at Whole Foods can also be extremely expensive. If you do decide to splurge, Cooking Light has some tips to keep the cost factor down. Limit yourself to one tong full of lighter veggies. Squeeze or shake excess water from items before placing them in your container. Avoid heavy items like grilled veggies and keep your dressing on the side. Treating yourself to a bright and cheerful bouquet of flowers can be a sort of victory lap after a successful grocery store trip. Whole Foods does a great job of luring shoppers in with beautiful bouquets and colorful blooms. But if you find yourself tempted by the botanical displays, you may want to stop and reconsider before shelling out the extra cash. Yes! the most beautiful and shockingly expensive of all the flowers. The kitchen notes that Whole Foods generally charges about $9.99 for a modest bunch of mixed flowers. You can get a very similar curated creation at Trader Joe's for nearly half that, $5.99. A dozen roses at Whole Foods will cost you around $12.99, as opposed to $6.99 at Trader Joe's. But those more expensive flowers must be better quality, right? Not necessarily. One kitchen writer revealed that she repeatedly found that the flowers she bought at Whole Foods barely lasted a few days. According to CNBC, Morgan Stanley determined that the price of meat at Whole Foods is generally 34% higher than that of other large grocery chains. And even with that higher price, you're not always getting a cut above the competition. Bloomberg reported that the Open Prairie Natural Angus beef sold at Whole Foods is actually produced by the same food giant that makes Tyson, a brand you can find in almost any grocery store. Meanwhile, the Meyer Natural Angus beef on Whole Foods shelves comes from a cargo processing facility. This doesn't mean that the meat isn't of good quality, it just shows that you can get a similar caliber item at another store for a whole lot less money. They just didn't see that, seem that interested in it, you know, they said, you know, well, we can get this pork cheaper somewhere else. It's worth noting, in fairness, that you can get more than a piece of meat for your money at Whole Foods. According to the chain's website, the butchers at each store will tie your roast by hand, cut steaks to order, and even marinate your meat selection. So some of what you pay is for those services. Second verse, same as the first. You might think that you're getting a better quality chicken when you shop at Whole Foods, but many times the store's poultry section is on a level with that of its more mainstream competitors. Brand perception could have you paying significantly more for essentially the same product. Bloomberg found that many of Whole Foods' 365 brand chickens were raised by Purdue farmers and processed in the same facility used by the poultry giant. David Sprinkle, a researcher at Packaged Facts, said, What used to be more unique has now become really par for the course, certainly among your larger chains and your progressive grocers. Whole Foods and stores like it have essentially raised the standards for everyone with stringent meat standards, calling for cage and hormone-free regulations. Bloomberg reports, the gulf has narrowed and sometimes has even closed between what's sold at Whole Foods and what's produced by industrial food giants such as Purdue Farms Inc. and sold at lower-cost supermarkets. Sorry to break it to you, but those french fry shaped veggie straws and 365 brand multicolored chips you've been happily munching on are in no way a substitute for vegetables. They're, quite frankly, not that much better than regular old potato chips. When you read the ingredient list on most of these packages, the first ingredient is potato. So you can read that as potato chips! Business Insider reports that 40 of those veggie chips will add up to 130 calories. And since they are not particularly nutritious or even moderately filling, you're not fueling your body with the energy it needs. To put it bluntly, the word veggie on the label is very misleading. Time notes that many of these types of chips, not just the ones at Whole Foods, have a health halo effect. In other words, they trick us into thinking we're eating something relatively harmless or even good for us. The packaging is deceptive and can lead people to believe they are getting health benefits, but they're not. In this instance, there is a negligible amount of real veggies in your veggie chips. The aroma of the coffee section of Whole Foods can be especially alluring to Java fans. But don't give in to temptation unless you really want to spend big on your beans. According to CBS News, you and your wallet are better off bagging beans and grinds somewhere like Trader Joe's. The price difference for a similar selection can be quite significant. High-end supermarkets, Whole Foods and otherwise, are not the ideal place to buy coffee. Beans and ground coffee often sit on the shelves for longer than intended. Rick Reinhart, executive director of the Specialty Coffee Association, told the Washington Post, if you really want to enjoy the coffee, buy it within a week of the roast. Buy it locally and drink it within a week of purchasing it. The Post found that many boutique brand coffee roasters found their bags of beans sitting stagnant at Whole Foods long after their listed Best Buy dates. And while that doesn't make the coffee unsafe to drink, 
think it's certainly not ideal in terms of taste and quality. Not everything at Whole Foods is a bad deal, though. Here are a few things you should definitely look for next time you find yourself in one. There are tons of yogurt brands on the market. Many varieties are healthy and nutritious, but quite a few others are deceptively loaded with sugar and preservatives. Fortunately, if you shop at Whole Foods, you can feel confident that you're getting a more thoughtfully curated selection. According to the grocery chain's website, all the yogurts on their shelves contain no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. The refrigerated section at Whole Foods is chock full of delicious and creamy yogurts. The expert testers at Spoon University tasted their way through every blueberry yogurt they could find at one Whole Foods and created a ranked list. With their absolute favorite, being Wallaby Organic Low-Fat Greek Yogurt. There are also plenty of picks for those on a dairy-free diet. As Veg News revealed in 2019, Whole Foods launched its own 365 line of vegan yogurts made with almond milk. The store also carries the highly rated Kite Hill Dairy-Free Yogurts and Forager Cashew Milk Yogurts. If you have thus far avoided the potentially overwhelming book department of Whole Foods Market, take another look. There are loads of tasty morsels — nuts, seeds, herbs, spices, beans, pasta, oats, and more — to enjoy in excess or in moderation. As noted by Cooking Light, you can buy as much or as little of an item as you want, so it is a great place to discover new and exciting flavors without making a big commitment. You can purchase the exact amount needed for a specific recipe, making it a less wasteful, more sustainable way to shop. Best of all, purchasing an ingredient from this Help Yourself section of Whole Foods is usually usually less expensive than buying the same prepackaged item. Cooking Light sums it up. Take fancy marketing and labels out of the equation, the prices drop like magic. I don't spend extra on packaging, I buy only what I need, and my kids love it here. Stocking up on fresh fruits and veggies at Whole Foods can add up quickly. While some items are worth the splurge, you may be better off scooping up much of your bounty elsewhere — the frozen section, where you can pick up a bulk bag of store-brand organic frozen berries or vegetables. As noted by The Kitchen, these items are generally well-priced, between $3 and $5, and frozen fruit won't spoil, at least nowhere near as quickly, so you can whip up a delicious smoothie or dessert any day, year-round, regardless of what's currently in season. Fruits that are going to be frozen are often picked when they're perfectly ripe, since they're frozen soon after being harvested. They retain their nutritional value and, unlike fresh fruit, they aren't often treated with chemicals, Healthline reports. One area you won't want to pass up at Whole Foods is the bakery. According to The Kitchen, most of the baked goods are baked right on site. This is not your regular old grocery store's collection of stale breads and generic sponge cakes. Are Whole Foods baked goods more expensive? Yes, but in this case, it's worth it. You can see and taste the difference. Whole Foods confirms on its website that their breads, cakes, cookies, pies, and more are made with unbleached, unbromated flour and do not include hydrogenated fats, high fructose corn syrup, or artificial sweeteners. According to Progressive Grocer, the test kitchen at Whole Foods Mid Atlantic Regional Headquarters in Maryland was recently equipped with a New York water maker, which replicates the taste and specific conditions of New York water for optimal baking of items like pizza, bagels, and other bread and pastry items. You can skip the perfume-heavy beauty counters at overcrowded mall department stores. Next time you need hair care products, makeup, or skincare products, try the personal care selection of your local Whole Foods. There's a wide array of options for your unique needs. And while the company's own 365 line of basic products are well-regarded, especially the coconut oil, there are other amazing brands to be discovered as well. According to Self, some of the must-try best-selling products include Dr. Hauschka Translucent Body Tint, Trilogy Rose Hip Oil, and Waleda Skin Food, all of which range between $9 and $30. Amy Jargo, a global senior category merchant for Whole Body at Whole Foods, told Mind Body Green that the store's loyal customers like to buy both their food and their cosmetics there, since they are not only cognizant of the food they can consume, but also concerned with the ingredients in their personal care items. She said, "...our goal is to provide the highest quality natural and organic beauty and body care products for our customers and do the research so they don't have to." She further explained that Whole Foods has banned over 100 common, potentially harmful ingredients present in many of the everyday beauty items widely sold at other stores. Whole Foods has a vast array of fresh fish on display. It can be an intimidating part of the store at first glance, but luckily you don't have to be a seafood connoisseur to get quality selections, and the experts at Whole Foods are more than willing to help you select the fish that's just right for you. The store's website boasts the amazing things their fishmongers can do for you, and it's a whole lot more than wrapping up a piece of salmon. They'll tell you where your pick is from, how it was raised and caught, and even suggest the best way to prepare it. Plus, they'll debone fish for fillets, peel and devein shrimp, and crack crab shells for you. They'll season or marinate your selection, too. Hey, this is Real Smoked Salmon from Nova Scotia, Canada, $24.95 a pound. It only cost me $14.12 after tax, though." According to Business Insider, Whole Foods exceeds the strictest quality standards for fish of any grocery store and is committed to sustainable seafood and responsible farming. So while the beef and chicken might come from where all the other stores' meat comes from, the fish is something special. Choose the fish. What was it we had for dinner tonight? Well, we had a choice, steak, fish. 
Yes, yes, I remember I had lasagna. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about smart shopping are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.